Okay, everybody, it looks like the saga continues with this jumpsuit Pablo thing. Um, it looks like he's trying to make a joke out of everything right now, trying to do, like, some type of comedy um, in relation to all of this. I don't know what to think anymore about this guy. I just don't fucking know. Uh, we're going to do a quick little bit of um, react. We're going to do a quick reaction to this video. I do very quickly want to say I did hit the 500 subscriber mark. That is absolutely huge for my channel. I appreciate that more than I can, um, more than I can say in words. I mean, that's huge for me. That's something that I'll always have, and um, that really means a lot. But without further ado, let's take a listen to this. Let me make sure the volume is up on the. Okay, let's take a listen to this real quick. I was exed out of my own gang recently. I mean, yeah, uh, like, I can't disagree. Look, I know that we've all been watching this little series of events and wondering, like, what's real, what's not, what's really going on here. All that I really wanted was to know that my homie was okay, but he just posted this. This is my open plea to any and all organizations, whether it's the Bloods, you know, hey, 1090 Jake, you're a white blood, help, help, help your boy out. Maybe. Whether it's the Crips. Hey, Crip Mac. Love your stuff. Now this whole thing could have been a skit. This whole thing could have been partially real. This could be a mental breakdown. Talking shit about a gang or a criminal organization can get your whole neck wrecked. Help me get revenge for what's under these glasses. So for anybody who doesn't understand the gang life, this is how you end up on a t-shirt. Rest in peace, Pablo. Motherfucker, rest in peace. I'm the next Con Yeezy. Okay, so, like I said, I think, in my personal opinion, the first two videos he did, the one where he said, I'm inviting people over to, to clear up this whole thing about whether or not I really was taking over a prison gang when I was in jail, that video, and then the second one when he's, like, in his backyard, kind of out of breath, saying, like, oh, yeah, I am not in the gang anymore, and I never took over the prison gang. Those two videos, in my opinion, were real. And then I think he's trying to make a comedy situation out of it. So that way, nobody talks about the fact that he was legitimately jumped out of his gang. That's what I, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. I, I think he could also have just woken up and had some type of manic breakdown. I don't know if he's mentally um, sound right now. He doesn't seem it. This does not seem like anything that I have ever seen anybody do who is like mentally okay. Um, it's not funny, like, the skits that he's putting out, he thinks are funny, but they're not. When he's on his TikTok, he's acting, like, extremely different, extremely childish, animated, just completely not the same demeanor, doesn't really, not really talking the same. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this situation anymore. It's just a fucked up situation. But, anyways, guys... Again, thank you for the 500 subscribers. That is huge for me. And um, maybe one day we'll figure out what this whole jumpsuit Pablo situation really is about.